fellow boss babes and bosses out there. So in this video, this is not for the aspiring and the freelancers. This is really a video for small to medium business owners. We receive a couple of mga messages sa Facebook page namin sa LinkedIn or sa personal Instagram account ko. Ano daw yung mga skills na dapat nila tingnan sa i-hire nila ng social media managers or qualities. Basically, ano yung need nila malaman before sila mag-hire ng social media manager for their business. But if you are an aspiring or newbie social media manager, then I guess it would be an edge if you are going to watch this video because malalaman mo na ano ba talaga dapat yung mga qualities or basic technical skills that you need to know para mas mapalaki yung chance mo na ikaw yung makuha or ma-hire as a social media manager. So yeah, let's dive in. So first thing, I want you to know na meron na mga social media managers na meron na talaga sila sinespecialized na platform. Like focus lang sila sa Instagram or maybe focus lang sila sa TikTok or maybe focus lang sila sa Facebook, yung ganun. But if you are a small business owner pa or medium business owner pa and wala ka pang budget, mag-hire ng iba't ibang tao to handle your social media platform, you can always hire a social media manager na multiverse sa lahat ng platform. Like they know how to handle most of the social media platforms especially if you are not sure yet kung ano talaga yung platform na ipapocus mo. Go for someone muna kaya niyang maghandle ng multiple social media accounts mo. Okay? I'm not sure if you can hear the background music like meron nagpapatugbog dito na birat birat na kanta. If you can hear that just you know that one. So, let's proceed to the technical skills na. So, ano ba yung need na at least alam ng social media manager na gawin para sa'yo? First thing talaga, at least alam niya na gumawa na content for you. Like, original content for you. When I say content creation skills, it involves kahit basic graphic designing, kahit basic video editing for reels or shorts or for your TikTok since mas malaki yung organic reach ng mga short video clips lang. And knows how to create a caption or copy for your post. Yan talaga yung at least three malang even just you know the basic kung wala talaga siyang alam for that we have the videos yung basic things that you need to know when you are doing a graphic design for your client check this out and when it comes to sa copywriting kung paano mag create ng caption you can also check out this one and for video editing I will create how to do at least the basic editing for reels or even for mga horizontal videos for YouTube something like that stay tuned second technical skills naman na feeling ko dapat alam talaga ng iha-hire mo is meron siyang basic knowledge talaga sa mga social media and how it works, how to upload, how to put captions, how to put hashtags, how to gain more likes, like just the very basic kind of managing social media platforms, not just Facebook, but at least yung mga common social media platforms na Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok, paano mag-create ng profile or paano mag-create ng page, paano mag-create ng Facebook groups, something like that. Look for someone na alam na yan. And kung wala talaga siyang knowledge and siya yung gusto mong i-hire, then no problem. We have a playlist for someone who wants to be a social media manager. Check out this playlist here. Napakaraming videos dyan na for free. Literally tutorial talaga step by step on how to create and optimize mga social media platforms and how to grow it organically. Meaning, no ads. Send this one to your social media manager and you say na, hey, watch this playlist kasi maraming tutorials dito and this is just for free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Yes, you can do that right now. Literally, copy the SM and playlist below, ilalagay mo sa description and isan mo yan sa i-hire mo or sa social media manager mo, okay? <laughs> So the next one of technical skills, at least marunong siyang magbasa ng analytics. Marunong siyang gumawa ng analytics report for you. Para ma-determine nyo kung saan kayo pwede mag-improve pa. And malaman nyo kung paano mag-strategize sa mga content na ipopost nyo sa social media. So the next technical skills that I think need ng alam ng social media manager na iha-hire mo is that dapat alam niya gumawa ng content plan for the whole month. At least para ma-check mo for approval kung ano yung mapapublish every month. It's very, very helpful talaga. It's because it's easier for you to strategize kung ano yung gagawin nyo sa campaign nyo. For example, meron kayong ilalaunch na affiliate program, promo, or discounts, yung mga ganun. That would be so, so helpful when it comes to marketing. 
proceed na tayo sa mga qualities ng isang social media manager na kailangan na malaman mo. Dapat ganito yung i-hire mo. Okay? First, quality talaga na dapat mong i-make sure na on point is yung communication skills nila. Dapat meron siyang good communication skills because most of the social media managers, sila na din yung nagre-respond ng comment and nagre-respond sa mga private messages. Yung mga nasa inbox nyo. And, dapat alam nila yung brand voice. Dapat kuhang-kuha din nila the way you speak, how you respond to comments, how you respond to messages. So, hindi natin gusto na parang rude sila or aggressive sila mag-reply sa mga customers. Kasi kung ano yung pag-treat nila or pag-respond nila sa mga followers mo, basically, yan yung magiging branding mo. As what I have said sa video na to, na yung branding, it's not all about the graphics, but it's more and about how the company treats their followers or their customers. So, para all in all, lahat ng mga audience or lahat ng mga mag-message or mag-reach out sa company or sa business mo, alam nila yung vibe always na mag-feel nila. Like, once I reach out to this company or business, I always feel like I'm a VIP. Like, I'm always valued. My concerns are always being attended. Yung something like that. Second thing then is you look for someone na uh, very proactive. Yung magbibigay din siya ng suggestions or magbibigay din siya ng opinion niya sa strategy niyo, sa ginagawa niyo. For me ha, I really ask my team kung okay ba to yung ganun. I always ask their feedback and see if okay din yung tingin nila sa ginagawa namin na strategy. Because I think meron silang mga alam na hindi ko masyadong makita sa perspective ko pero nakikita nila as sila someone yung always na nag entertain ng mga queries. Sila yung always nakakakita sa comments. I think being proactive is a good attitude, especially if you want to hire a social media manager. Kasi sa business mo, sila yung frontliner. Mas alam nila kung ano yung needs ng mga followers mo. Mas alam nila yung kaganapan in real world. Like, kung ano talaga yung mga nangyayari. Compared sa yun na you are always working at the back end, doing the big stuff, doing the big thing for your business. So, for them as the frontliner of your business, you should ask for suggestions, you should ask for opinions, you should ask for feedback. Hire someone who is proactive and dapat may initiative and common sense then of course. The next quality I would say is that dapat keep to details sila, especially for the spelling and for the grammar, the links that they are putting, the graphics that they are creating. You want, you know, most of the time, you mga business owners wala ng time to check every single detail sa mga iba post nila so make sure na sila mismo yung i-hire nyo, dapat keen na sa details. Para no need na to check every single detail. Dapat the social media manager can check their own work. Like, double check. And the next thing that I would also say na I think, ito yung pinaka-important na talaga. I would, I would, I would, I would really say feel the vibe. If you feel like the same kind of vibe, then go for that. Bigyan mo siya ng mas malaking chance compared to someone na you feel like there's something off to that person. If you feel like there's something off, save your time, save the time of the candidate or the applicant, save both of your time and just pass. And it will really save you from future troubles because energy never lies. Never lies. So, that's a pro tip. If you are asking if you are going to hire a beginner pa or an experienced one, I would say it depends on the budget that you have. If hindi pa masyadong ganoon kalaki ng budget, you know what? There are a lot of social media managers start pa lang nila ngayon, but when I check their own profile, like, this is the bomb. Like, are you still a beginner? Masasabi ko na, my God, mas magaling ko pa sa akin when it comes to graphics. You really need the copy. So, so, so nice yung account niya. So, ang suggestion ko is that when you hire someone, ask for their portfolio. Kung meron na silang mga na-client before, ask for their portfolio. Yung graphics na ginawa nila for the client, yung analytics report nila for their previous client, yung copy nila na ginawa for the graphics, ask if nakagawa na ba sila ng basic video editing for reels or for shorts or for TikTok, something like that. Pero let's say na yung in-interview mo is a beginner pa lang, total beginner. Kung wala silang mabigay na portfolio kasi they are still a beginner and wala pa silang naging client, check out their own profile. Tignan mo if maganda ba yung profile nila. Dapat at least meron silang business page na sila yung nagkahandle as a social media manager. Check out their own profile and see kung ano yung kind of work na pwede nilang madeliver sa business mo. 
I guess those are the qualities that I think you need to see pag nag-hire ka ng social media manager. Wait lang. Before you hire a social media manager, these are the three things that you have to be clear with this first. First, before you hire, you have to know what's your real goal for your social media. Like, ano ba yung goal mo? Bakit ka magpapahandal ng mga social media accounts mo? Is it to generate leads? Is it to create a conversion? Meron ka bang binibenta na products? Why you want someone to handle your social media account? You cannot hire someone na hindi ka clear kung para saan siya. Once you are clear with your goals, next, ask, ano yung kind of help na gusto mo sa social media manager mo? You will ask her or him to create ba social media content? Mga graphics ba? Mga reels ba? You should know what kind of help yung kailangan mo talaga sa social media manager mo. So, na-mention ko na yung mga basic tasks talaga ng social media managers earlier, yun yung mga job description. So, at least man lang, marunong silang gumawa nun. And the third one is your budget. The budget is subjective, especially what kind of social media manager that you are going to hire. Maybe you want for all around, like pwede siyang mag-manage ng lahat ng social media or someone na expert na Facebook lang talaga yung focus niya or Instagram lang talaga yung focus niya. And it also depends if you are going to hire that person early or fixed rate per package ba, yung mga ganun. So you have to be clear kung magkano ba talaga yung budget for this social media manager na i-hire ko. Siguro I would recommend if you are still a small business and you want to hire a social media manager to help you with the social media marketing now, I would say look for someone na may magandang social media package like magka-create sila ng let's say 15 posts every single month and then magbibigay sila ng at least one report and then meron din silang engagement at least siguro one hour every day something like that I feel like mas makatipid ka kung iper package mo kesa sa iper hour mo you can evaluate then yung performance ng social media and I guess most of the social media managers who are offering per package, meron silang tinatawag na parang retainer fee na lang na mas mababa na yung babayaran mo compared sa first month na pagbayad mo sa kanila. Maybe you can ask a couple of social media managers and ask for a quote kung magkano yung mga packages nila. So, if you are clear na sa at least tatlo na yon goals, yung job description talaga na need mo ng help and then your budget, you can now post it sa mga third-party platforms like Upwork, Online Drugs that Pay, people per hour, talent that hug stuff, whether that's a Facebook group, whether that's on LinkedIn, or you can just message us, Facebook page, and we can post mga social media opening nyo. Pwede namin na i-share sa page namin and sa group namin kasi most of our likers, most of our members of groups, aspiring and newbie social media managers, and I would say most of them, nagka-create talaga ng mga portfolio, and most of them are really taking action para mas malaman nila kung ano talaga yung media going as a social media manager. So, yeah, hopefully this video is helpful for you. If you have any further questions pa, mga business owners about social media management or marketing, feel free to message us on our Facebook page and we will be happy to answer your questions. So, don't forget to join our Facebook group. I'm ready to boss up by Briksui. And don't forget to like our Facebook page at BossaPH and follow us on our Instagram accounts at Briksui and at BossaPH. So, yeah, hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye!